Um, I'm going to make this video to try and uh, summarize my efforts last day. Um, so at the moment I'm, you, I'm setting up uh, three LSPEC 44300 black box units um, because we're going to be measuring some uh, power consumption by a couple of air conditioners. Now I just want to make sure that I can download the data onto a computer. Now yesterday I was trying to set up PQ SCADA along with Microsoft SQL database and investigator on um, a couple of other computers. Now all these computers were imaged by ITD and there was something preventing it from success. I think it might have been a firewall setting uh, which is for security and it was just preventing um, communications between the LSPEC black boxes and the software. So what I've got here is I've got a um, Dell Optiplex 745 and it's just got our old uh, copy of uh, Windows XP on it which is just stock standard Windows XP uh, professional I think and I had previously installed PQ SCADA on here and uh, as you can see it's working. Now I've got three of the um, black box units here they've just been named by their serial numbers and these are the IP addresses um, basically if you you plug in this one after you've plugged in your black box into the network and you you can set the in this settings here you can set the DHP CP enabled and then from here you can also find out what the IP address that's been given to that black box and um, <coughs> so then I can go into uh, Windows uh, Internet Explorer and I can just type in those IP addresses and get the web interface up up and running. So if I lock in with the um, the admin password I'll just say one of them. And what I've done with all these ones is I've gone into configuration uh, I forget which one it is. I've, I've basically updated the firmware. Here we go. Firmware upgrade. So I've already gone through and upgraded the firmware on all three of these machines. And it's easy, you just browse, you download the latest firmware from the LSPEC website, and um, which is here. This is LSPEC, um, LSPEC PQ SCADA. And down here you can see the firmware software version 4.07.0, which will change as time passes. Downloaded that to your computer, then you browse, upload it, it takes a while to update. And you can see here on this one, I don't know what the resolution will be like on this video, but the old version was 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and this is 0 0.4, 0 0.07. Um, <coughs> the other thing that I had to do was uh, go to security and uh, pick, and then just update the FTP login. So I got FTP user, I won't show you my password, but I updated the password and then I've gone in here and right click configuration and made sure that you know the name I actually had to change the name and the um, device IP address uh, because I'd actually changed the um, black box unit that I was using uh, anyway there's your FTP username and FTP password which I won't show but once I'd done that um, it was fine. So I can pull up Investigator 2 I suppose and it should have all three there so it does. It's got all three there. I can double click on one and it'll show all the uh, parameters, various parameters and then I can just basically um, set some dates and upload that data that it's, uh, that it's measuring. So yeah, um, actually I can expand out that tree there and I might just say waveforms there's a whole bunch of stuff here um, 
Oh no, let's pick this one. And um, see the query engine's running, so that'll be pulling the data off the um, database. And uh, it's got nothing there, but probably because it was switched off during this date. So sometimes you just got to pick a May 2012. Well that's last year. So I've been running it. I've been running it um, since. Well, I've been running it in January, and today's date is the 10th, so it's probably better to put 10th and put the day before, see if we get anything this time. Yeah, okay. There you go. So there's a little bit of data here, and that's basically. So now it's 11:44, and that's about right. So if I just go like that, I can zoom in on that data. So basically, it's only been running for this long. Just zoom right in. Now that. <coughs> so remember, this is just noise at the moment. I haven't got anything actually wired up to the voltage and current sensors. So this is just, this will be 50 hertz background noise uh, that the black box units are picking up. Um, now I do believe you can export the data as well. So here you go, export data, um, Excel spreadsheet, and it'll just say, you know, where do you want to put it, and I'll put tick that box there, export. So that's done that. Now if I try and find that document. So just going through how you would pull the data off. Uh, in the in the use that these ones are going to be put put, put in is um, I just gotta remember where that data actually saved to. I uh, should have been paying more attention there. Okay, export. Where's it going to? My documents. Okay, technician, my documents, and an XML. So if I just go back there, just sort by date modified. There it is. So yeah, um, they're up and running. Now, because this, these IP addresses have been DHCP assigned, um, I'll probably, when these go out on site, they actually won't be networked. They're going to be just standalone. So when I bring them back in, um, I'm just going to have to do the same thing where I get this unit, plug it into um, LAN network port 2 on the black box, and um, just basically go in configuration, uh, well, I've got information, and network information and there's the IP address so yeah I just have to do that and oh anyway here's the data of the so there's your date and time and there's the data so yeah um, yeah and then I'll just go to IP setup and I'll update the IP address and um, pull in the data that's all I want to talk about for today.